A man with Wabash Valley ties has been listed as missing in action for more than 70 years. Today, he was laid to rest. Dana Winklepike attended the services and joins us now with those details. Dana. That's right, Mike. Sergeant Charles Garrigus grew up in Terre Haute in the Gibson County areas. His remains spent roughly 70 years in North Korea, but today he is home for good here in Indiana. Most of the people attending Army Sergeant Charles Garrigus' funeral never met him, but they knew of the sacrifice he made. It's just nice to, for everybody to be able to see that, to know the person that he was. Will Garrigus is Charles's nephew. He grew up knowing his uncle was listed as missing in action during the Korean War. I mean, 72 years later, uh, you know, we get a call that, hey, we've identified your uncle's remains and, and we'd like to send him home and, and bury him proper. So it was really amazing. And bury him proper they did. At the funeral, Pastor John Lilly described Sergeant Garrigus as committed, compassionate, and a courageous man who, due to his heroics, earned the military's second highest honor, the Distinguished Service Cross. At least 13 law enforcement agencies and the Indiana Patriot Guard escorted Garrigus' remains to a cemetery in Greenwood near where the family now lives. It's a way to honor them, their service, their sacrifice, and to let the family know that other people care. The remains of the man, his family called Junior or Junebug, were among more than 50 boxes given to President Trump by North Korea in 2018. He was later identified because two of his siblings had donated DNA samples 25 years ago. His niece, Vicki Gaskin, is grateful for that. Everybody that loved him so much and missed him, we just needed that today, and, and God brought him home. It's really gratifying, you know, and it's uh, a deep sense of pride for the entire family to be related to, to Charles Garrigus. Now, it is believed that Sergeant Garrigus was shot as he led a convoy to meet up with another unit. They were under very heavy attack. He is survived by a sister and two brothers, as well as some nieces and nephews. You can learn even more about his life and his service by going to our website. And I tell you what, I did not know the family before today, but just attending the funeral and seeing all of that always is so touching. Very powerful. And yeah. that technology has brought a lot of closure to many families. Hasn't yes. It? They took a piece out of a bone they found about that big and were yeah. able to, yeah. to identify him. So. Yeah. American hero. You betcha. All right. Thank you, Dana. Sure.